Welcome to the Attic Manadad here. This is the channel where we explore what is fun in magic, mostly on Arena. Today on Arena, it's the Brawl Builder Challenge, which is just really Brawl, 100 card Brawl. Um, used to be called uh, Historic Brawl. And um, if you're curious, it's a restricted list of the commanders that you can build. So I'm going to leave the link to this article in the description. We're going to be building Obika. Let's scroll down to the O's um, because it's the most popular um, of the Outlaws of Thunder Junction commanders on um, EDH Rec. And uh, it's also super, super challenging. A 2 5 menace has to get through to deal combat damage. Then you get additional upkeeps, which is weird. Not actually that strong with the card pool on Arena, um, but we like a challenge, so we're going to do it. Take a look at the deck tech, then I'm going to show you Obika in action. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go! Okay, Obika, Splitter of Seconds. In Brawl, this uh, just channel, we try to do a Brawl video. I usually try to do it once a week. I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately because I've been very busy at work, but... Eventually it will pick up and hopefully about one Brawl video a week at least, maybe more if there's exciting stuff going on in Brawl. So if Brawl videos are the type of videos you like, hitting that thumbs up, hitting that subscribe is definitely a, um, that's the vote that I'm looking for. And I'll put up the subscribers goal there, I'm trying to get to 16,000 subscribers. Why that number? I don't know. There's one of these YouTube guides that says you should try to get there. So that's what we're shooting for. Rootin' shooting, tootin' here with Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Okay, so <laughs> I, I this is a weird mix of cards. I'm not gonna lie. Delver of Secrets definitely don't have to have it, but does give an upkeep trigger so you can flip your Delver maybe easier, maybe quicker. But you're just gonna be keep looking at the same card. So the extra like beyond this first upkeep that we get off of Obika whatever <laughs> but you can see there's going to be a couple themes in this uh list of cards you got stuff that has upkeep triggers you got stuff like this which is going to give evasion it's a jailbreak scheme you might not know this one is a relatively new card uh sorcery with spree so for blue and three we can make obika unblockable plus a little bigger so we can get three upkeeps and if we want to kick in another two mana we can uh top or bottom something from uh, an artifact or creature uh, on the opponent's side so can also function as removal of course we're in black so we're going to have some good removal <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're in blue so we're gonna have um counter spells mostly focusing on stuff that's going to protect obika because you got to get obika down for four mana it's not one of these brand new commanders with ward that's going to be guaranteed to stick around you got to get her down. <laughs> you got to um, protect her so that she can attack the next turn. And then she's got to get through. It's, a, there's, it's really challenging. And then when she does get through, you got to get value off of the upkeeps. So it's like a, a multi, multi card combo. But um, we got counter spells like Phantom Interference and Miscast to help protect Obika. Slip out the back can help protect Obika. Spell Pierce can help protect three steps ahead is another of these spree counter spells um kind of fun counter spell make a token draw cards discard cards gets better in the late game so you might want to just sort that away wash away of course is kind of a must-have uh it's a one mana counter your opponent's commander we need to slow down our opponents also to buy enough time for us to do our thing uh fatal push good effective removal dragon master outcast i love this beginning of your upkeep if you control six or more lands create a five five red dragon creature token with flying so hopefully what we're going to do is get up to six lands Hit, uh, cast Dragon Master Outcast, hit with Obika, and make a ton of 5-5 five, five red dragons. That would be fun. Uh, Ragavan, because you can on Arena. Uh, if you're trying to build this in paper, uh, you know, you don't have to do Ragavan, but it's a little bit of ramp. Lava Spur Boots, I've noticed, is popular. It's going to give Ward 1, and it's going to give Haste. Haste is a nice thing to have with Obika to just sneak in. People aren't expecting it. Um, Glorious Gale is going to um, counter a creature spell. And if it's a legendary, we're going to get a ring tempt. Uh, ring tempt works okay with Obika. Uh, <laughs> Jawari disruption. Um, 
There's a counterspell and a land. Counterspell, counterspell, counterspell. Actual counterspell. <laughs> we do have Mana Drain now on Arena, so uh, if you got it, run it. I mean, why wouldn't you? Battle Rage Blessing. I thought this might be fun as a protection for Obika. Giving a Menace creature Death Touch is nice because you can sometimes blow people out and remove two of their creatures uh, with it. Bitter Blossom. Also fun but dangerous because you're going to lose a life uh, for each fairy that we create. But we can kind of get going. Um, Call of the Ring. Again, we've got Ring Temps plus Card Draw here. Dreadhorde Invasion. It's like... Uh... <laughs> A little bit like Bitter Blossom at home, but you'll notice that the zombie tokens get uh, lifelink if, once they get up to power six or greater, which might be pretty fast if we've actually got Obika going. We'll see. Go for the Throat, Heartless Act, Infernal Grasp, Shoot the Sheriff, Tithing Blade. Tithing Blade is nice. It's not really well costed. It is a common. Um, it's just a sacrifice and edict effect. But if we can flip it, we got an upkeep trigger thing with Consuming Sepulchre. We got um, Generous Plunderer. This is another new one from the big score, I believe. 2-2 uh, two -two Menace. Beginning of your upkeep, you can create a treasure. When you do, target opponent creates a tap treasure. Meh, not great. <laughs> but when it attacks, it deals damage to defending player equal to the number of artifacts they control. So um, my, possibly a little bit of a non -bow because those tap treasures opponent creates, they're going to be able to use before Generous Plunderer gets in its uh, next attack but what are you going to do um of course you want to put in any brawl deck in general you want to put in all the two mana ramp uh swift foot boots great just to protect iron crag another two mana ramp we got as foretold uh this is again not that strong <laughs> but we can get a bunch of counters on it pretty quickly and then maybe we can be casting some free spells with it if it does sit out there it could be okay Confounding Riddle, relatively new card here. Look at the top four cards of your library and put one into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. So you can use it to dig for that thing that we need, especially if we're holding up counter magic and, you know, we don't end up using it. Midnight Clock, of course, has an upkeep trigger. It's pretty nice. I only have one alchemy card in here. It's Rusko Clockmaker. You probably already saw it. Um, so if you're trying to build this in paper or you just don't believe in playing alchemy cards on Arena, which much respect i often make brawl deck lists that don't use alchemy cards but in this case rusco making an extra midnight clock getting those extra upkeep triggers just seemed like kind of had to do it um for for the completion sake also rover the arch may guy again is a pretty jank card but it does equip a shaman warlock or wizard and our commander is a wizard and so being able to draw some cards uh, as we're already getting obika through should be pretty good if we can actually pull it off Similar thing with Gix, Yog, Moth, Praetor. It's not an upkeep trigger thing or anything. Sin Prodder, however, is an upkeep trigger. It's a 3-2 Menace Devil. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. Any opponent may have you put that card into your graveyard. If a player does, it deals damage to that player equal to that card's mana value. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. So they're never going to let you draw lands off of this, but anything you flip over is basically going to turn into damage until they're too low, and then you're going to get it. Um... Laughing Jasper Flint, another one from Outlaws at Thunder Junction. Creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries in addition to those others' types. Okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards of a target opponent's library where X is the number of outlaws you control. Well, Warlock is actually an outlaw, so it does have a synergy with our commander if we manage to get them both out at the same time. It's going to trigger at least once for itself, and then we can cast those cards, and, uh, you know, the, any creatures are going to be mercenaries so they'll also be outlaws so we're going to be able to start digging really deep in our opponent's deck i played this in limited it's great in limited it runs away with games we'll see if we cast it how it performs uh more ramp heraldic banner replicating ring is ramp that has an upkeep trigger which is synergistic i guess still a three mana ramp card i thought sort of wealth and power would be fun to put in here it's another way to protect obika and pump up obika and then we deal combat damage we make some treasures uh, Mind Splice Apparatus, we do have a ton of uh, instants and a few sorceries, so that's pretty good. Dismiss, counter spell, draw a card. You don't have to run this, but this this card may have gotten me more concedes than anything. Like, when opponents just get sick of having their stuff countered, and, and then you also draw the card, they're just, like, scoop. Um, you know, and we don't have that many counter spells where we always have one, but... Uh, something ill-gotten inheritance upkeep trigger to drain kind of expensive gisa 
upkeep trigger to put creature cards exiled with Gisa. So this is another one. Maybe we want to hold it back. Play Gisa, kill something, get that Obika upkeep trigger, and get their thing immediately before they have a chance to respond. Hopefully they're tapped out or something. Air tie, just another good like hold it back flash thing. Not really super synergistic with the deck, but it's removal, it's counter. It's going to help us <coughs> survive desertion. Is another relatively new one to arena. You counter a spell and you can take control of it, which is fun. Spell swindle, counter spell, make a bunch of treasures, also fun. Bone horde dracosaur. This now this is we're finally <laughs> five mana. We're finally at the good upkeep triggers. 5-5 five, five Flying First Strike, beginning of your upkeep, exile the top two cards of your library. You can play them, and if it, you exile a land, you get a 3-1 Dinosaur, and a non-land makes a treasure. Super powerful, super strong. Uh, just getting, if we can get those upkeep triggers um, that one turn faster, that's just even more strong. Just get that value right away. Um, burn down the house. We have one board wipe in the deck. Um, probably should put more in, but uh, we, we, you know, we got to make room for Plarg and Nasari. At the beginning of our upkeep, each player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. An opponent chooses a non-land card exiled this way. You may cast up to two spells from among the other cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. So, in a two-player game, practically, we're going to get the worst spell that gets exiled, but it's going to be a non-land card. And because of Obika, if we're getting multiple upkeeps, we're going to be getting multiple cards. Uh, so we're going to get the second pick several times, which adds up to value. We'll see. I don't think it's that great. <laughs> a Scarab God has a nice upkeep trigger. Uh, each opponent loses X life. We scry X, where X is the number of zombies we control. And we can start bringing stuff back from our graveyard to... Uh, actually, a creature card from a graveyard we can exile, bring back as a zombie. And uh, it just keeps recurring, so if they kill it, we just bring it back. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Pretty good body to hold down the um, the board. Virtue of Persistence. Uh, the enchantment side has an upkeep trigger, and then it can also function as removal. And then running Treasure Cruise, uh, just card draw. We've got a bunch of um, the fetch lands in the um, mana base. I guess maybe the only land to really note here is Prismatic Vista is now available. So... Um, if you like Prismatic Vista, you can use a Mythic Wildcard and craft that. That is the deck. Let's see it in action. Hold up, partner. It's me, Tyler Bones. Yes, that's my real name, not just my wife's nickname for me. As a skeleton thief, I'm always looking for a steal. Did you know that memberships on this channel cost the absolute minimum that YouTube allows? And you get access to videos early, which means you can steal deck ideas from the card sharps before their stagecoach even gets to town. Yeehaw! Some of the card sharps around these parts are so sharp, they are sharper than my adorable little baby teeth. Oh, so tiny. The really sharp ones are using the affiliate link in the description to buy the cards they like at suspiciously low prices. That video description has all kinds of loot. Too bad I never learned to read. Kids, don't grow up to be like me. Tiny bones, living a life of crime and having no eyeballs. If only I growed up with a man of dad who always had a wrap up at the end of the video with surprising and useful information. Then they would call me Smarter Bones. Don't be like me, Tiny Bones. Be like a smarter, less tiny me with eyeballs and a brain and such and a plan for what to do with considerably more jewelry than my tiny little arms can lift. Oh, I'm late to rob a graveyard. Adios! I should say the event doesn't seem to have started yet, even though it said it should have. By now, so we'll just play on the regular brawl use. Keep a two lander. Got Ragavan. See how you do, Teza of the Ghost Council. Removal check. Leaves of Quelos. But they may have it. Path to Exile. Okay. Well, they're going to ramp us. What we wanted uh, Ragavan for anyway. Basic land do we want? Probably Island. 
Hmm. Sanders Lounge. Guess we'll play that tapped. Call of the Ring. No. I don't think you get to call the ring. Do another removal check. We came here to play Obika. Seems, they seem like they're pretty tuned here, playing Call of the Ring and Path to Exile. Hanged Executioner, okay. Well, we need something that cares about upkeeps, but we do not have it yet. Generous Blunderer, that cares about upkeeps. We'll keep that. An exile target creature, huh? All right. Well, just attack and get some extra upkeeps. Opponent plays a Bojuka Bog. Those are one card in the graveyard. Guess they just needed that for mana. And did they pass the turn? Mandarin works really nicely with something like three steps ahead. Katilda. Okay, so. Yeah. We just mana drain that. Now we've got Generous Plunderer. Do we want to try to duplicate that? How many, how many uh, we should probably still hold up Tail's End if we can. Oh wait, control. This is the one that duplicates. Yeah, let's, Let's do jailbreak scheme. Attack. Shift for three. Get some upkeep triggers. I'm just going to charge them up. <laughs> When it goes for invasion of Nikopana, sure. Would you like to sacrifice one of your creatures? They would. I try to take out Obika, I'm guessing. No, they take out the plunder. Ah, fine. <laughs> Ready to go make a uh, token copy. Do I need what? Six mana to counter something and make a token? I don't have, I don't quite have that. I guess I can counter draw some cards. Discard. What do we want to discard? Seems like they have a decent amount of creatures, so maybe we'll just keep Glory Scale. What does this flip into? Equipment? 
Hey, spirit. Looks like they're spirits uh, tribal deck. Ooh, we got Rusku. Rusconioni. We're going to flip that midnight clock very, very fast. <laughs> trigger, 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 trigger. Teza wouldn't want to be ya. And the opponent scoops it up. We out here lowering the win rates. Let me stop uh, Toski. Get a triome here. Next turn, play Iron Crag. Hope to have drawn a land by then. Tithing Blade. If they play Toski with nothing else on the board, Tithing Blade. We'll get them. You'll never know what our colors are. Sentinel Stalwart. Show me Triumph. How's New Capenna feel? Their tri lands just get called Triumphs. Uh, should I shoot the sheriff? No, I'm gonna ramp. I'm gonna ramp the sheriff. I need an artifact or creature. To make that work. Ooh, punch us for one. Okay. Miscast. Not super helpful. We'll just pass the turn. Opponent. Could have Toski if they could do anything about it. You don't play anything. Reclamation Sage. No. I say no. That was very rude. We missed our land drop and you still tried to take away our mana rock. I'll take away your mana. You should have shot the sheriff there. But I saved Tithing Blade for Mr. Indestructible. Whoopsie. Bloodstained Mire. Uh, yeah, I want double red. They can have any number of pump spells. I think we're going to block. I want to put our commander back in the command zone. Start getting down some of these guys. Flying first strike. On it. Thinking hard. Deep in the tank. I love Toski. Toski is one of my faves. I think I got a pile of cards over here. <laughs> Beginnings of a Toski commander deck. Hot buttered Toski. All right. And big pump spell. They thought that long and hard. About playing a tap land after attacking. 
Okay. Eric's uprising, sure. Your 1 1 now has trample. Uh, opponent. As foretold. Interesting. Well, that will pay off eventually. Powering up as foretold. Yes! Obika did something. Oh, nice. But we can slip out the back and shoot the chair. Or miscast and slip out the back. The opponent will be happy if we slipped out the back with Tusky. Sure, we want to target it. Yes, I'd rather it becomes a two-two than draws them a card. Oh, uh, Tamiya is safekeeping. Okay. Well, we got the Tamiya safekeeping out of their hand. which means whatever they play, we can shoot the sheriff on. We can shoot the sheriff. We can actually get this up to five. We could cast one of these post-combat. See if... Minimal Visionary, sure. Draw a card. You're ready to pass the turn. Oh, we're going to do another land drop. I don't think they have any two drops better than that. They just zap it, but... It's a Toski Elves deck. Elf, Elf. Okay, draw me something good here. Heartless Act. Yeah. Alright. Came here to play. Well. Hmm. I came to Plarg, but I also came to Bone Court Dracosaur. Which is by far the stronger card. We can only hope if they use removal, it's uh, something that costs a lot of mana. We can miscast. Tireless Provisioner. Drop a land. Oh, good, they didn't drop a land. Target creature with no. Oh, uh, what? No! We're about to start popping off! I don't think they even saw that we were casting removal. Okay, well, that is Obika. Obika in a squeaka against the Tuskeka. Stick around, let's talk about the. Okay, so what did we learn? Well, actually had a positive win rate with Obika. I wasn't kind of expecting that because I was um, scooping some games just to try and get you a game where we could see Obeka pop off. And we kind of saw it, um, but not really. But I think it proved it could happen. That's that's the important point. Um, if we had gotten Lava Spur Boots or um, where is it? Swiftfoot boots working, 
and gotten in the hasty attack. I think that would have been good. I liked sort of wealth and power. I, it's a bit overcosted for what we're trying to do. As foretold was actually pretty nice. I have to say, it, what, if if you actually are trying to do the Obika thing and you get as foretold going, that works. Um, Sin Prodder will probably work. We didn't get to see that pop off. Um, I would cut stuff like Rove of the Arch May guy. Um, just just more ramp in general. I think we need more ramp and land drops. This is a kind of a mana hungry deck. Um, and then yeah, I don't know, maybe more board wipes to try and get to the late game. You know, just if opponent gets off to a fast start, being able to wipe the board and then start to get going. But you know, desertion was pretty great. Uh, I don't know if we get to play the game where somebody scooped to desertion, but. Um, I did get a scoop to desertion. Uh, I have to say, Rusko is good in the deck. Um, uh, you know, but if you don't want to play alchemy cards, that's fine too. I played against an opponent that was like all alchemy cards, which was really annoying. Um, so I get it. I get it. If you're not into that, that's fine. But pretty much everybody knows Rusko now because it's just such a busted commander. It's, um, it's definitely top tier, S tier of the Brawl commanders. Anyways, um, Tithing Blade, we didn't ever get to flip this, but I think it's decent. We misplayed it against Toski, but there you go. Shoot the Sheriff is actually performing pretty well. I think this is going to be definitely under consideration. It might get cut, depending on what your removal package is. We could probably take a better look at the removal package, a little better look at our draw package. Um, Call of the Ring was not super impressive there for us. Um, I think our Counterspell package is pretty on point. And then... Dragon Master Outcast, people knew to remove that right away, um, but that's okay. You kind of know. Uh, Delver of Secrets was <laughs> pretty useless. Um, I think maybe drew removal in one of the games. But I love Scarab God. I think Bone Horde, Dracosaur, and Plargan Nasari are, are just busted if you get them down and hit with Obika. So uh, it's Value Town. That's, that's the way, that's what this deck is trying to do. Um, of course, Gisa is pretty nice too in the right in the right matchup. So uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how the deck is built. It could definitely be tuned if you want to try to tune it, but I think in the end, it's Obika. It's more about the fun of just the challenge of trying to get Obika down, get Obika through, get some extra upkeeps on an extra upkeep card. It's quite challenging to do. I played nine games and I only managed to do it like two or three times. So. Um, and in terms of impact, none of those times were like crazy impact, uh, I will admit. But that's the deck. Thanks for joining me in the attic. Check out some other fun brawl decks that are linked over here. And um, leave me a comment and give me some encouragement because it's hard for me to get the time right now to uh, come in and make these videos for you. But <coughs> I do enjoy it. This one took way longer than I thought. I thought I'd like play two games and the video and i'm playing nine games for almost an hour and a half here so plus trying to troubleshoot my computer i've had a lot of tech issues anyways i'm rambling on is anybody still here leave a hashtag still here in the comments if you listen to me ramble on at the end here so much this is apparently terrible for the youtube algorithm to just ramble on at the end and let everybody click away what you're supposed to do is just click on another one of my videos and see some more action um but hey but you're here and I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. And uh, I'll remind you that magic is a game so fun. Even dads can enjoy it. Adios.